Choosing the right 3D application on your journey as a 3D artist can indeed feel daunting at first. However, realizing that all these applications fundamentally do the same thing, manipulating vertices to create stunning renders, can simplify the decision-making process. Once you understand that it's not about the tool, but how effectively you can use it to bring your vision to life, you'll feel more confident in making the right choice. If all 3D applications, including Houdini, Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, and 3ds Max were all free and open source. Blender would still be the best choice. Yes, a lot of people will say, but Cinema 4D is better at motion graphics, Houdini is better for procedural generation and simulation, and Maya is better at animation. All valid points, but what makes Blender still a better choice is that it's never far behind. Modeling, for example, if these applications are just competing on modeling, with no add-ons or third-party plugins installed, Blender would be the best for general polygon modeling, plasticity for SDF and hard surface modeling, and Modo for product modeling. If you install add-ons like Mesh Machine, Blender becomes as good as plasticity for hard surface modeling and even better than Modo for product modeling and rendering. These plugins bring more functions from other applications at a fraction of the cost. Even without any additional add-ons, Blender is packed with tools, modifiers, operators, and has the best shortcut combinations in the entire software industry. No other application uses shortcuts as effectively as Blender does. Animation. When it comes to animation, just look at P2 Design Academy's animation course. It's a full course about animation in Blender that takes you through everything from start to finish, showing you that everything you need for animation can be done easier in Blender. That's another beauty about Blender. You'll always find detailed guides, tutorials, and structured courses for animation, rigging, and more, more easily than for any other application. When you look at animations done in Blender versus other applications, there's no way to tell which was made in which software. That's why some studios are already using Blender in certain areas, like the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once. What's amazing is that even when you move away from Blender, the animation skills you learn are applicable to all other applications, including game engines. Texturing. When it comes to texturing, Substance Painter is the top dog, and if all 3D applications were free to use, it would be miles ahead of Blender. But it's a subscription-based service costing $50 a month and owned by Adobe, whose terms state they own any work you create using their applications. Yikes. Alternatively, you can install add-ons like Extreme PBR Nexus, which offers a collection of PBR textures and tools to help you blend materials or the Sanctus Material Library, which is an ever-growing library of procedural materials. With these, you can forget about monthly subscriptions or your work being claimed by a multi-million dollar corporation. Proceduralism. When it comes to proceduralism, Houdini is undeniably the best. It has been used in countless movies, and what makes it the better application is how everything works together with everything being created procedurally, from basic model generation to fluid simulations, fire and smoke, RBD simulations, custom velocity fields, and more. And second place? You guessed it. Blender with its geometry node system. Just go on Twitter and search for Houdini Procedural, Blender Procedural, Cinema 4D, Maya, and 3ds Max. The most impressive generators will be from Houdini, then Blender, with a few from Cinema, from Maya, and a handful from 3ds Max. This shows that while Blender may not be the best at every specific task, it's always close to the best. Look at the number of geometry nodes generators available. From the cable generator to add detailed wires to objects, this makes it quite easy to add interesting details to your scene, giving your model's story, purpose, and functionality. A river generator that produces real-time results without the need to bake, the simulation is interactive, allowing you to add objects or characters walking through the water in real time with materials and details. You can create river rapids, waterfalls, ripples, and more without spending hours setting anything up. a neon signs generator to make your cities look detailed. A procedural crowds generator. 
The crowd agents are already textured and animated, with object avoidance, various crowd behaviors and presets, as well as unique characters and customization options, ensuring that each character is different. A building generator for any style of building. You can customize it by simply moving faces around. Each face you adjust adds unique detail to the building, depending on the style you select. There are multiple styles available, from cartoonish to medieval, realistic, classic, and more. You can also choose from different types of shading. All of these are reminders that when working in Blender, you are never alone. Someone out there has already created a tool that will make your life easier. It's this unique community, found nowhere else, that elevates Blender to a level no other software can match. To AAA studios, this might not seem as important, but to individuals and small studios who can't afford multiple licenses for each employee or artist, and who are gambling on a project without knowing if they'll make back their investment, Blender might be the only choice. It's the difference between paying a monthly subscription to create trees from scratch using a standalone generator like SpeedTree, or simply buying a collection of already made trees, complete with textures, different species, and wind animations from add-ons like Botanique. And it doesn't stop there. Say you need a powerful explosion simulation for your movie. Your first choice might be Houdini, followed by Embergen and other applications. But somewhere on that list, Blender will always be there. If you install additional plugins like VDB Lab for fire and smoke simulations, or RBD Lab for debris and object shattering, Blender can be a great alternative, especially if you're working on a small budget. Once again, what makes Blender special is the freedom to create everything yourself without spending a dime, or to leverage what others have created through add-ons, content libraries, and more. Courses like the Blender VFX course by Top Channel One on One, Grant Abbott teach you how to create explosions, destruction, and VFX without relying on add-ons. If you master these skills, you'll be ready to handle any project that comes your way, and add-ons will simply help you work faster. In some ways, Blender is just better. Blender might be the only application that comes with a built-in real-time rasterization engine. The others that have this type of engine, like Unreal Engine, Unity, Marmoset Toolbag, Lumion, and others, are in a different category of applications. While EV isn't meant to produce realistic results, now that it's been upgraded to EV Next, it has become a valid alternative to offline render engines like Cycles, especially for small studios that don't have the time or budget to use render farms. There are also tools like Render Boost that help make Cycles a faster render engine by speeding up rendering by 80%. It does this by only rendering half of the frames in your animation and using frame interpolation, which is faster than rendering, to fill in the missing frames. Most indie filmmakers find Blender to be the most suited software for their projects simply based on its object and motion tracking tools, which make it easy to create set extensions, add objects into live footage, and more. While other applications can do this, for some reason, most artists choose Blender for tasks like these. Many artists claim that Blender is only great if you install add-ons, but why haven't studios adopted it as the industry standard for making CGI? And many artists are already using it. The answer is simple. Studios that use Houdini, 3ds Max, Maya, or Cinema 4D aren't using the bare-bones versions of those programs. They have technical artists who have been developing tools, add-ons, and plugins for their applications for years. If you compared your version of Cinema 4D to what Weta FX uses, it would be unrecognizable. The main reason studios haven't adopted Blender as much as expected is that they've already developed plugins for the software they use. It's the same reason most Blender artists would find it hard to switch to other applications. They've collected hundreds of assets, models, materials, generators, shaders, and more, all tailored to Blender. Switching would mean losing a lot of that. The difference between Blender and other applications, and what makes Blender the better choice, is that everything developed for Blender is accessible to everyone. For other applications, there's tight gatekeeping. You'll never access the tools WetFX uses for creating creatures, what Pixar uses for their movies, or what DreamWorks uses for rigging in their animations, unless you work for them. There are many more reasons why Blender would still be the best choice for most artists, even if all other applications were free and open source. These are just some of the main ones.